Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to use a Whirlpool Cabrio dryer. This will be a full tutorial and an easy tutorial, so let's get right into the video. As you can see right here, this is the Whirlpool Cabrio dryer, okay? Whirlpool, as you can see right there, Cabrio. And it is a clothes dryer. It has AccuDry technology, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to use it. So first and foremost, let's go over the initial step, and I'm gonna back up the camera, which is to open the dryer door, okay? Before you put in any clothes, before you do any cycle, I recommend that you empty the lint filter. So take your lint filter out, okay? <clears throat> Empty it, so just get all the lint with your hand like that. There's not that much on this one, but I always empty it before every single session. So I'm just gonna go bring this over here, throw it in the trash can, place your lint trap back in the dryer in the correct orientation just like that. As you can see, we've done that. Now, you're gonna load up your clothes. So take your clothes, load up your clothes just like that, okay? Very simple, close the dryer door completely. You can hear that it's nicely closed like that. Now what we need to do is we need to focus on the control board over here. So if you take a look, and I'll bring the camera a bit closer, if you take a look, there are a few different controls that you can use. Okay, I'll bring that, I'll zoom that in a little bit. So basically you wanna push power to turn it on. Okay, you hear the chime there, and now you can use this dial to control the type of drying cycle that you're gonna do. So the timed dry options are all down here. Okay, you can see right here. So I can do, these are in the number of minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 minutes. So you can do it for a specific amount of time, or you can do the automatic cycles. So the automatic cycles are gonna figure out when it reaches, when the clothes reach the dryness level that you're looking for. So I can go up here to less dry, okay? Or I can go to normal dry, or I can go more dry, and those will basically um, continue drying until it is either more dry, a normal amount of dryness, or less dry, okay? And then also, once again, you have your timed options over here, okay? Now, once you've chosen the cycle that you want, you wanna look at your options over here. So you have temperature, okay? You have a temperature, it can be low temperature, air drying, okay, high temperature, or medium, okay? I like to dry on low all the time, it's just a personal preference, okay? You also can turn on your wrinkle shield or off. That's gonna prevent your clothes from getting wrinkled once the cycle has finished. And you can also turn your cycle signal on or off. If it's on, it's gonna let you know when it's finished. If it's off, it's not gonna let you know when it's finished. Once you've chosen all of your options, you're gonna go ahead and start it. So you can see I have a 20 minute time dry on low temperature, wrinkle shield is not on, but the cycle signal is on. Once you've chosen your options, you wanna hit the start button. And the machine will start tumbling and drying your clothes. So now it's drying the clothes, well the imaginary clothes that are in there. If you wanna pause the cycle, you can pause it by pushing that start button again. So right now it's paused, and you can see that the light is flashing, which tells me that it's paused. If I wanted to start it up again, I could push that again. Very simple, just like that, okay? And if you want, if, if you want it'll, it'll automatically stop when it's done, but let's say you want to stop it early. Well, then you can pause it like that, let it stop moving, and then you can turn it off. And I've now stopped the cycle early, and I've turned the machine off. And then you can take out your clothes and hang them up, or. You fold them up, do whatever you want to do. That's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.